Many people are giving their hearts away this Valentine's Day, but for one long married couple in Luzerne County, their love comes in the shape of a kidney. As Newswatch 16's Melissa Steininger shows us, this couple is celebrating love and life this holiday. Decades of memories, five kids, and two grandbabies were all built on more than 40 years of love for Matt and Maria Komen. The Wilkes-Barre couple has been side by side since their teens. That goes all the way back, <laughs> back to our days in high school, yes. you know. Uh, yes. I was on the basketball team, she was a cheerleader, and you know, we just kind of started dating. But as with any love story, it doesn't come without its challenges. For Matt, it was a foot infection back in 2016 that started the Coman's darkest times. Basically, the way they approached it was first they had to save my life, then they could worry about saving my foot because, you know, the priority at that point when I was septic was, you know, there was, uh, I, was in, I was in a lot of trouble. That sepsis and the medication to treat it eventually caused Matt's kidneys to fail. He started dialysis at home for nearly 11 hours every day. Normal kidney studies and never had any issues whatsoever. So my life changed literally over about a 48 hour period. Matt's next step was to wait on the donor transplant list until they finally found a match that was closer than they ever expected. And honestly, I didn't think I'd even be a match because I'm not related, you know, a blood relative. But um, when they called us and said that I was a match, I was just so excited. No one has ever really been able to properly quantify it as to what the chances are. Uh, some places have told us it's probably in excess of 100,000 to one. The couple was delayed nearly three years before going under the knife at the University of Pennsylvania when they finally got the call around this time last year. They said, well, how's uh, February 14th? We just kind of looked at one and I go, really? Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Maria underwent a six and a half hour surgery before Matt received her kidney. The two recovered together for weeks, and now, a year later, everything is still successful. One of the kids said to me, are you nervous? And I was, I was actually excited. I was actually excited to do it. This Valentine's Day, the couple is celebrating their first kidney anniversary, where life looks different. In a word, it's freedom. Yeah. It's freedom. Over the past year, the two have been raising awareness about organ donation, they're also making another lifetime of memories, all thanks to the most selfless act of love. Our 40th wedding anniversary is coming up this year too, and it's like, oh, well, we'll go away on a vacation or something like that. That is such a trivial thank you in comparison to the sacrifice Maria made uh, that, uh, like I said, it's a debt I'll never be able to pay. While Matt and Maria knew for more than 40 years that they found the love of their life, this surgery is proof that the two are truly the perfect match. Melissa Steininger, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.